Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for a nice big room tour. Spent a good couple of days just reposing stuff and moving things around, trying to get it all presentable for you. So I hope you enjoy this one, folks. Drop a like on it if you do, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, so I'm really happy with how this looks. I was never keen on displaying the DX Joker or the DX Batman boxes behind the figures on this shelf because they were just... They just didn't work style-wise, the shape, uh, just not very interesting to look at. So I never really knew what to do with the 89 Joker and Batman. This is actually the Batman Returns Hot Toys Batman with a custom cape. I do have my 89 Batman. I just don't have them on display right now just because of the way things worked out. You know, there just wasn't room. I had to sacrifice someone just for a little while and I've taken the 89 Batman away he's up in the loft but I am using his kind of the first thing you see when you lift up the, the beautiful kind of flap magnet flap on the DX 89 Batman box now these awesome kind of extras that they gave you you don't usually see white behind these it's usually just the black foam so you don't really see the bat signal very well so I just cut out a circle of white paper and put it behind this I think it really jumps out better now same thing with the Joker just a circle of white paper behind the, the image. And I felt like, you know, because the Christopher Reeve Superman box is so big and it's beautiful, but again, just wouldn't really work with the way I have things set up here. I mean, you could argue that, yes, it could. You could just basically put the whole Superman box here, but then it's taken up so much space because it's a big, massive S box. It's beautiful. But I just think I'll put him here for now. So that's a big chunk of my childhood right there. But there is the incredible looking Batman Returns. It's so lifelike. I mean, I love the 89 version as well. And I intend to keep it because I wouldn't want to separate the 89 Joker from the 89 Batman. But I think this might be the one I prefer. I mean, it's just so real looking. Get a look at his face. I love the way the light is catching his eyes. He's looking towards us to the side. And the Jackson cape is really necess you know, necessary, basically, because the stock one was so terrible. But there is Christopher Reeve. Still have him after all these years. Beautiful piece. That was a beautiful gift from a buddy, Denny, in Australia. I hope he's doing well. The 89 Joker is just insanely cool. Amazing head sculpt. Look at that. Beautiful clothing as well. So that is how that little section is looking. I'm really proud of that. And now on to the Joaquin Phoenix Joker which is looking seriously awesome. The cool steel book on one side and the DVD on the other. The awesome wall diorama by Cult Creations. It's Glenn Page. It's even got the Murray Franklin poster behind him. Subway. Nice and gritty and grimy. Yeah, you got a beautiful bass. The Oscar. Gun. Love a cigarette. Uh, the card there about his condition. And just the head sculpt is incredible. Absolutely amazing. Such a beautiful figure. It's incredible from any angle. Very, very proud to have a piece like this. Love the movie the moment I saw it. Instant classic. That steel book is really, really nice. That's the back of the steel book. I think it's more interesting than the front. I like the front too. Let me just flip it around. And you guys can see what it would look like. Actually, that's quite nice as well. Hmm. Anyway, here he is.
Joker. Now, I spent the longest time with this figure trying to find the right pose for it. Out of everything in the room, this is the one that I kept coming back to. I wasn't quite happy with the way it was looking, but now I am truly satisfied with the pose. We've got the shield on display. The hair's looking nice. Pose is good, nice and aggressive. She's ready for battle. Such a beautiful, vibrant figure. Absolutely love this one. The display with pride. Absolutely stunning one six scale piece. There's Wonder Woman. And then we have Ben Affleck Batman from Dawn of Justice with a custom cape by Unreal Toys. And it's the drape cape, obviously, draping beautifully. And he's looking thick beefy and mean absolutely incredible piece holding on to one of his batarangs yep if I could only have one Ben Affleck Batman figure it would be this one it's absolutely awesome looking and on to the bathroom scene Joker which you can't buy anywhere, well, unless you, you know, buy a custom or modified figure that someone's done and puts on eBay or something. But I had to make this out of different parts, I repainted and added hair to one of the Toys Era heads, and just accumulated the different parts of the outfit gradually over time, and got him in the pose, that iconic moment from the bathroom scene. Just turn him around a bit for you. You've got the accurate color on the back of the vest, which a lot of them don't have. And you can see the socks. I pulled the, the trousers up maybe a little bit too much because I like seeing the white socks. But the face, I mean, the sculpt is absolutely crazy on point. A lot of folks weren't happy with the Toys Era head sculpt. This is actually just the plain, no makeup, half a fleck head sculpt from Toys Era the first release but once you paint it it's it's just unquestionably him it's amazing looking so I am very 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 happy and proud to have this version along with this version down here as you can see absolutely incredible sculpt very very strong likeness but I copied every little mark and blood stain and even down to the corner of the mouth there with the black coming down I love that piece but yes folks I finally changed the pose on him I was very reluctant to change that dancing pose he was in the last few videos but that's how he's looking now the butterfly and here is my 1-6 scale Batman Begins like, swear to me <laughs> I love this Ben Choi head sculpt man you can move the eyes so I've got him looking up and he looks absolutely incredible we've got Jackson cape and done some videos on this figure recently on the channel but yes there is another custom head sculpt coming soon to the channel folks and I will let you see that as soon as it arrives but there is a one six scale Batman begins that's my favorite movie of all time And then we got the Shadow Ninja by Pop Toys with the Hot Toys Bruce Wayne head. But this is obviously Bruce Wayne from the League of Shadows from Batman Begins. So before he was this, he was this. And I absolutely love this piece. I haven't really reposed him, he just looks incredible just standing there with the uh, this blowing in the wind behind him. You can you really tell that's Christian Bale in there, even though it's just the eyes. That's a head play Bruce Wayne head sculpt Nick gave me. Absolutely amazing. It's originally it's Ra's al Ghul, but I wanted to make him Bruce Wayne. So it's really nice to have those two together. And here is Heath Ledger, the Joker, with the custom head sculpt that was painted and haired by Stephen Maurice. 
uh, Trespass Customs on Instagram. That's how he goes on there. Does amazing work. And I believe he's actually got an interview coming up with Tanila from Tanila's Customs, I think. And that should be happening soon. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But absolutely unbelievable, this one. It's, it's incredible. I love taking pictures of it. Whenever I put pictures of this on Instagram, folks are always just blown away by how real it looks. It's really amazing. So Stephen Maurice did one hell of a job on this. It's uh, originally the DX11 Joker by Hot Toys, but with the MMS box behind him. But with custom head sculpt. And it's the only Heath Ledger Joker I'll ever need. I mean, if Hot Toys make another one, we'll see what it looks like. But this is going to take some beating. So there he is. We have all the cards and money on the base. The outfit with the accurate color inside, the chain. Absolutely amazing. So I always cherish this one. Well, thank you so much again to Stephen Maurice for hooking me up with an amazing head sculpt. I'm just thinking as I film this folks I'm probably going to do a part one and part two because I'm just going to do this side of the wall uh, for this part and then for part two it will be all the horror sci-fi stuff so we'll do all that in part two folks but here is the Armory Dark Knight Batman by Hot Toys uh, thank you to Glenn Page for sending me that box um, and it's got the Armory head back on there again with the eyes looking to the side an amazing piece it has a custom cape by Jackson and he's with Selena Kyle in the Dark Knight Rises but she is deteriorating rapidly her suit is getting cracks and rips in it and you know I had a big issue with the gloves and the boots but she still displays quite nicely she just looks kind of battle damaged so I really need to look into getting a third party outfit I've seen them around and hope it's still possible to get one, but she's too stunning a piece to let you know just deteriorate to nothing. Well, her body and her head sculpt's always going to be okay, so she'd basically just be one day, you know, theoretically, if this just keeps deteriorating, it would just be the belt and the the eyewear and the gun. Yeah, the boots and the gloves. Basic. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Just the the main outfit would be gone, and she'd be very. Um, exposed and YouTube would not like that so but she's a beautiful piece look at that that's the most popular video on the channel if you scroll down on my channel to popular videos this one uh, the showcase I did on this figure with the stock body everything was stock when I did that all those poses in the holding cell um, but yeah that's the almost a million views on that one they look great together And here we have the Arkham City Hot Toys Batman, but I've changed him more into the kind of HD remastered version from Arkham Asylum. We've got a custom Jackson cape, beautiful drape on that, the way it's just tipping over the shelf there is gorgeous. And I did the mod on the body and the suit to get the arms more flush to his sides. We painted all of the blue sections, the cowl, the gauntlets, the gloves. We painted all of that black, so it's black and grey rather than blue and grey. And it's just a hell of a presence in the room. Beautiful cape again, you can see. Holding on to one of his batarangs. Absolutely love those games. And Harley Quinn beside him. With the Firesin body swap. That's the sideshow Harley, but now with a Firesin body. Not easy to do because you have to cut the back of the suit open and take the old body out and then put the new body in and then sew the back of the suit up again. So it's a bit crude, but got the job done. Let's give you a quick little close up on Batman's face. Kevin Conroy, Batman. Nice to have him represented in here. The Harley's absolutely fantastic. She didn't come with that little box gift I just had that lying around and it seemed to suit her she's reaching for the massive mallet as well as showing you the knuckle dusters a big smile on her face 
and that is your ultimate Harley. Then we got the Scarecrow, Batman Begins by Hot Toys. It's still an awesome looking piece. It also comes with that big straight jacket, but this is the way I'm rocking him for now. A really good head sculpt. This is the only sculpt that it came with. So maybe they'll rethink it one day and include the crane sculpt as well. Then we have the Sideshow Joker with the Che Guevara camera. And he's sitting in the chair that comes with the Fight Club fur coat Blitzway figure. And he's just enjoying taking some snaps. Strong Killing Joke vibes with this one. Love his shoes and his socks, the whole outfit. Absolutely great looking piece. And then the armored Batman from Dawn of Justice. There's a spear, there's a grenade launcher. And the custom mouth plate that you have to get from 16kit.com, but I don't know if they make those anymore. Because Hot Toys didn't give you this kind of just normal expression like he has when he's looking up at the symbol while he's waiting for Superman. So they made a custom one, which you had to buy separately. But yeah, he's looking awesome. Just amazing work on the armor though. Beautiful looking piece. One of the few Batman figures by Hot Toys where the stock cape is perfect and you don't need to replace it with a custom one. Yeah, we've got the custom Adam Hughes Catwoman, which is one of my absolute favorite pieces in here. Big fan of the Adam Hughes artwork. Obviously got it all up here on the walls. Every one of them. Adam Hughes Catwoman goodness. And the head sculpt is really based on that particular look right there, which is clearly Audrey Hepburn inspired. I absolutely love those. And this piece is so unique. Head sculpt was made by 16 Visage on Instagram. And got the cat from some random shop one day. I painted it black because it wasn't a black cat originally. Got one rose, diamond. The cat's playing with a diamond as well. It's a big one too. Got the Joe Turner decals with the accurate Adam Hughes cover Catwoman font on the base. And Gwyneth made the outfit, which is absolutely incredible. Really kind of reflective, perfect fit. Great. Well, I don't know what the material is, but it's perfect. I've even got the little silver loop on the zip. Got the handcuffs. She's in custody right now. Not too happy about it, neither. Let's get a close up on the head sculpt. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful work on the eyes. Absolutely stunning piece. One of my prized possessions. And now onto the Mark Hamill Joker from Arkham Asylum by Hot Toys, one of the very best 1-6 scale Jokers ever made. Or any scale Joker figure, really. It's right up there at the very top of the mountain. It's uh, the head sculpt, the body they used, the posability, the proportions, the clothing, the weathering with the blood, the details on his belt, and the chain, the handcuffs, the patch on his knee there, beautiful work on his shoes, accessories, the base. An amazing head sculpt. Absolutely amazing. You know, awesome Mark Hamill Joker, whether it be from the animated series or the animated movies or the games. One of the very best to ever do it. Absolutely. Like a 10 out of 10 figure, that one. And then Nightmare Batman by Hot Toys with the 1-6 kit custom coat. 
looking absolutely amazing from this angle the light catching his eyes holding on to his binoculars you've got the joker card symbolizing the truce on the gun a little bit of wind picking up and catching the end of the coat there and that right there folks is a beautiful piece respected We've got Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Apparently the David Ayer cut is fantastic. And at the time of me filming this, people want it, but I really doubt we're going to get it. I mean, it happened with Justice League for reasons which you could talk about all day. But I don't think we're going to see the light of day when it comes to the David Ayer cut. I would like to. I would definitely like to see it. It would certainly give new life to this figure here which I don't see Hot Toys ever making again I don't know maybe but it's got the custom tongue by Andy Hibbs which adds a lot to the already very kind of uh, lifelike and expressive sculpt sculpted hair obviously works really well with this piece I've seen quite a few people uh, swap it out for real hair and that looks equally awesome and even better in a lot of cases. The awesome jewellery, baseball bat, the belt, the tattoos, stockings. And these don't look so bad from this angle. Nice base, awesome boots. Just an amazing head sculpt. Alright, then you got the Hush Batman and Catwoman from Medicom. I'm actually using the cape that came with the Arkham City Batman. So that is actually his cape on the Hush. And they look great together. It's nice to have a real kind of comic book look when it comes to Batman on the shelf. Obviously proportions look a bit odd, but that is because it's, you know, what's the word? Exaggerated, that's it. That's the word I was looking for. Kind of exaggerated proportions. But it doesn't bother me one bit. I think it's awesome looking. And having Catwoman beside him is even more awesome. Speaking of awesome, there's my little street hawk with Jesse Mark. Absolutely love that. Street hawk representing. And then more Batman action. We've got the Demon from Batman Begins. Custom velvet cape that I made and melted and burnt and ripped to give it that Demon Batman kind of look. But not a figure you see in too many people's collections. And it's cool to see Justin get this and the Scarecrow recently. And that's cool. Awesome sculpt. But really, really great addition to any Batman collection and then you got the Darkest Knight heavily modified Hot Toys figure here new mouth plate repainted painted eyes totally weathered and disgustified outfit Jackson custom cape that was painted purple and then weathered and ripped and torn James Hodds meat cleaver blurred blood on the stand the base uh, videos on the channel discussing what exactly he is and how he came to be it's a very very cool and unique 1-6 scale Batman yeah, look at all the blood yeah, the knuckles it's just nasty And then over here we have the spare heads for the Arkham Knight Catwoman statue, which is absolutely stunning. I repainted the lips on all of these heads, made them a much more vibrant, beautiful red, and it made 
One hell of a difference, man. I mean, it's already stunning looking, but trust me. Once you get the lips looking like this, because they're kind of just a pink before, it wasn't doing it for me. A beautiful, vibrant red. Made a big difference. I'm surprised I managed to do that so neat. And then I obviously glossed them afterwards. I wanted them to look really shiny and wet. So that's what I did. Beautiful. That statue is just unbelievably cool. Really big. It's <laughs> really big statue. And Play Arts Kai. Poison Ivy. Which makes me think as well. I mean, I know it'd be really difficult to do, but I'd really like to have a 1 6 scale Poison Ivy figure. But it's going to be tricky because obviously, this day and age, they're going to want to do a seamless body. And how do you do that green with leaves all over it? I don't know. I mean, Firesin might try it one day and just call it Plant Lady or something. <laughs> But man, I would love to have a Poison Ivy. Would really love to have one of those. Uh, and then you got the Sideshow Premium Format Catwoman. Where I modified it a little bit by... Because they had the zip done up to about right where my finger is. And I wanted to see more cleavage <laughs> because of, you know, Adam Hughes. Uh, he likes to, you know, show that sometimes. So I just work the zip like a little perv and got it down and repainted her eyes and the lips on that one too she's been repainted and absolutely amazing piece then you got Michelle Pfeiffer tweeter head Batman return statue one six scale beautiful you can take Michelle Pfeiffer off there and just use the base with Batman if you want believe me that looks insanely good you got the original 89 Batmobile toy from 1989 still have that but Nice little Catwoman section here, and then there's a lot more Catwoman stuff under here as well, and more down there. But there is a big video on the channel covering all this Catwoman collection. Just type in Dean Knight 333 Catwoman collection, you'll find some pretty big videos showing everything. And then you've got the NECA Batman Begins, quarter scale figure there, but with the Entebbe belt and a repainted mouth. But everything else is NECA, Batman Begins there, and that just looks beautiful. And you've got the Enter Bay Batman, with custom velvet cape, looking insanely cool, as you always, I mean, it's just that's my absolute grail right there, that's the one and only. And uh, then we've got, we'll just come around here, technically shouldn't be filming this side of the room right now, but finish up with the Batman stuff. There's the Hot Toys Batman Begins quarter scale piece. And there is the Hot Toys quarter scale Batman from the Dark Knight Rises. Custom cape. Beautiful velvet drape cape on him. And that pretty much covers everything for this part of the video folks. I've done all of this side of the room now. That's all the DC superhero stuff. And villains. Bad guys. And I'll give you a quick little look around here at some of the other stuff we got lurking. Got another Street Hawk, Michelle Pfeiffer, T Rex, Travis Bickle, and Endo Skull. There's the amazing War Machine Punisher. There's the beautiful Batman Begins Cow. Gorgeous Vampirella Premium Format. Dog Soldiers Toy still in the packaging. Freddy. And the Pumpkin Head. Big Batman there. Thanks to Glenn Page for that recently. Mark and Irene for Pumpkin Head a guitar and lots and lots of cool stuff and awesome artwork love the posters Harley Quinn bat above the door just in case and all the comics but I hope you enjoyed this part folks and I will be back with part two so stick around for part two I'll show you all this stuff next I won't show you anything too clearly just yet but drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it folks and don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at dean 333 and don't forget to come check us out at our store at www.thefigurepit.com. Alright, see you in part two guys. Take it easy. Bye bye.